you have your YouTube channel. Yeah. I would be okay with like her being prickly, but like it was like a bush. So I was like, I tried so hard to say it nice. I don't. Okay. And that shit is doing great. Okay. Mm -hmm. You mentioned in one of your videos um, that your dad found out that you were hoeing. What was that like? My dad cried. Um, and then he wouldn't let me live with him as long as I was prostituting. So that's why I stopped. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, wow. And then, you know, you, you talk about a lot of stuff on your YouTube videos. Yeah. So you talk about relationships as well, okay? Mm-hmm. Tell me about your first relationship. I've only ever been in one relationship, and it was with a Brampton man, and, like, this man would fuck everyone and everything, and just, like, he always had chlamydia. Like, he would come to my house and give me chlamydia, and, like, I would have to get rid of it, and, like, I would still take him back time after time, and this went on for three years. Wow. Until I recently exposed him, and he just, like, left my life. So he's exposed online out He's there. not exposed, yeah. Wow. So why did he have to get exposed? He was your man. He wasn't my man. Like, we were on and off for three years. Like, we only dated officially for, like, six months. Mm -hmm. And then from that point on, it was, like, on and off for three years. And, like, I exposed him because he wasn't replying to me or some shit like that. But, like, I don't care. Like, because he's, like, he's out of my life, so it's better. Yeah. Like, I was emailing him. Like, he blocked me on everything, so I started to email him. Mm hmm I almost sent letters to his house, but like, Jeez. yeah. Okay, I want to switch gears for a quick second, okay? I want to go into something that's called, um, what do you think, right? Okay. It's basically like a relationship segment that we have where we ask, you know, random relationship type questions, okay? So, question one. Can a first night of sex become a long-term relationship? Yeah. 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 That's how my relationship started. Okay, okay. Have you seen it with anybody else? Um, usually if I want to be with a guy, I make him wait, to be honest, mm. which is weird because I'm a hoe, but like, <laughs> but it, it does, it does work. Like, I don't, I'm not like one of those girls, like, they'll want to wait like 30 days before we have sex. Like, no, if I want to have sex with you, I'm having sex with you the first time I meet you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, would you let your man have a hall pass? Probably. Okay. I don't see why not. Okay, okay. Um, how do you plan a threesome with your guy? Like, he's your boyfriend, right? He's, mm -hmm. your, he's your man. So not just some random guy. He's not getting a threesome then. No threesome? No, because if I see him giving more attention to the other bitch than me, I'm going to fucking knock her out. Oh, and shit. him, the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's give a hypothetical then. Because <laughs> you're just like, nah, you're not having it. But if... For advice for your fans, okay? Mm -hmm. For a woman out there who's like, oh, my boyfriend always wants a threesome. How would you advise them to set that up? Make sure the bitch isn't a fucking snake at hoe, first of all. Mm -hmm. Because, like, more times a lot of these girls will do threesomes with their mans and then behind their back, they'll continue to have sex with each other without the girl. Yeah. So, like, you have to make sure it's someone you trust. Okay. And then, like... Like, I, I had a girl hit me up, like, yesterday asking for a threesome. She's from Hawaii. Mm. Like, 